Peyton Manning, the sheriff, is my number two. John, you said it. Greatest regular season quarterback of all time. Five-time MVP. Hall of Famer. First ballot. No debate. Uh, probably one of the one of, if not the smartest quarterback of all time. Guy called his own plays. Uh, and he had head coaches like John Fox, Jim Caldwell. I'm not disrespecting them, but they are not on the level of Belichick or an Andy Reid, even a Mike Tomlin or a Harbaugh. I don't see them on that level. So Peyton Manning was never playing with no Hall of Fame coach outside of Dungey. And, you know, you guys want to throw all these uh, postseason numbers at me. Can anybody tell me what's his record in AFC championship games? Well, he's been to four Super Bowls, so he's got four wins. And he's been there five times. So Peyton Manning is 4-1 and one in the AFC championship game. Yeah. He's beaten Tom Brady three times in the AFC championship game. The Manning brothers have, have stopped Tom Brady from about five more Super Bowl appearances. The one thing standing in Tom Brady's way, the, and they knew it going into each and every year. And this is the thing. I, if, I know for a fact both of you guys have Tom Brady number one. His lone competition, the one person that constantly was standing in his way to get into a Super Bowl, it was always going to be Peyton Manning. That was the person that he had to beat in the dance. And when he got to the AFC Championship game, as much as I love Tom Brady, against Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning had the upper hand three times. That says a lot. And and this is – and I'm talking Peyton Manning shredded a New England defense, I think his second-to-last AFC title game where he threw for almost 400 yards against us. Two touchdowns, no picks, went on to go to the Super Bowl. They lost. Even the year that he won the Super Bowl, his final season, when he beat New England in the AFC title game, still was just a hell of a game manager. He he didn't throw for over 200 yards. It was about 170, 160, still two touchdowns, no picks, no turnovers, which is unlike Peyton Manning. But in those last two – The Carolina one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 141 yards in that Super Bowl. Yeah, and two touchdowns. No, no picks. I'm talking in the AFC title game. Oh, my fault, my fault. Yeah, okay. AFC title game. So I, when you guys mention all these playoff numbers, yeah, it's, it's sure we can point to the New Orleans Super Bowl uh, where he threw the pick six that, you know, pretty much iced the game. Or we could talk about the Seattle debacle. That was probably the worst Super Bowl I've ever watched in my life. Okay. But other than that, I, I'm not going to use those against him in his argument as one of the greatest of all time because it's – I honestly believe – I don't think there's really much of a debate. I think if you sit down and you watch Peyton Manning's career in its entirety. It's not much of a debate. No. The, if you watch his career in its entirety and you tell me, outside of Tom Brady, that there's a quarterback better than him, I think you're absolutely nuts. What if I told you, Jerry, oh, one man. Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers has as many touchdowns as Peyton Manning in four? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't move no needle for me. Like, Peyton Manning still has two Super Bowls and four appearances. Aaron Rodgers has one Super Bowl, Bowl and was, one appearance. Yeah, but we also second have Super to Bowl, take into context, Justin. We have to take into context. Well, no, no, because Bowl, you know what? I feel like a too many people. Osweiler. What happened? It's... The second Super Bowl, they could have won with Brock Osweiler. Yeah. It was and the, the first defense, Super Bowl. Like, like we bring up you with think Brady. they win that AFC Championship game with Brock Osweiler? They Against a... who? What, Peyton, what, what, what was Peyton numbers in that game? That game they was got like bailed out by Pittsburgh in the divisional round. The Steelers and I That's out. my point. It was 20 to 18. Peyton Manning played a near perfect game managing game that you could ask for. He didn't do too much. He did just enough. You're telling me that New England wouldn't have baited Brock Osweiler into something, into one turnover? We don't win that game with Brock. They as a baited Peyton into a lot of stuff too. And he I did mean, not throw a pick. No, no, not in that game. I'm talking in, in, in his entire career. Like, oh, in his entire career, yeah, sure. But I'm, I'm talking I mean, in that game, like him saying that they could have won a Super Bowl with Brock Osweiler. I don't even think they get past Tom Brady with Brock Osweiler. Granted, Osweiler did beat them earlier in that season, in the regular season uh, at, in Mile High. But I really can't think of any quarterback that, that stacks up next to a guy like Peyton Manning. So we're looking at his AFC Championship games now. Yeah, so, he's a player coach. He was 53% completion percentage in that game, Justin, against New England. Yeah. 176 yards, two touchdowns, no interception. His QBR was a 36. Didn't turn the ball over, right? 
No, he didn't, but he had a 50. He, he completed 17 of 32, okay? Yeah, he the guy's arm was hang, hanging off the that, side. Of that's him. what we're saying. I know. And then you want to look at his Super Bowl numbers against Carolina, 13 to 23, 100. I'm not giving him all the credit for that Super Bowl. That That's all. But he had an 8.6 QBR in the Super Bowl. An 8.6. The defense carried him. Sure. That's what we're saying sure. to you. Yes, that's fine. It's the same thing but about... at the same time, isn't he still needs to do his job. Did he, he does. The no. If we're looking if Justin, if we're looking at Payne Man's entire career, we got to look at the 41, 41 point demolition versus Chad Pennington in 2002. If we're going to look at his entire career, we have to see. Yeah, yeah Brady went 6-0 to start off against Look at his entire career, January 4th, 2003, Jay Wright. I look at his entire career and I see some embarrassing first round exits. He had over hmm. six. And then I look at the ASC championship teams and I'm not looking to disrespect Peyton, but when you say he was the guy and there's no way he can have anybody else at number two, I look at his first ASC championship game versus New England, 2004. He had four interceptions in that okay, game. Okay. And then since then, what did he do? The second in the time ASC around, championship game. In 2007, he played a pretty good game. Completed 57% of his passes, 349. Third, third, he played very well against the Jets. Got into the Super Bowl in 2010. The Reggie very Wayne play, the Reggie Wayne pick six. Reggie, the legend is, ran the wrong route. I'm not going to hold that against him, but he lost against the Saints in the Super Bowl. We then moved to 2014. And that's 2007, excuse me. We then moved to, moved to 2014. And he had a 400-yard game versus the Patriots. Balled out. Got into the Super Bowl. And that Super Bowl, what happened? Yes, they got Mac'd absolutely up. slacked. Yeah. Macked up. And Which you was on can't everybody. Tell me... not, not, that wasn't on just Payton. That was everybody. Yeah, no, but you that... can't tell me that you weren't absolutely shocked when that was going on. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, that's yeah. the worst Super Bowl I've ever watched in my life. But mm -hmm. I'm not – like I said, you guys are throwing Aaron Rodgers there and, and comparing the two like – no. Aaron Rodgers' playoff success is yeah, anything. It's not. That's why I have Aaron Rodgers behind Peyton. See, and you're and you're and you're a good man. You're a good man, Brandon. Yeah. But I'm not going to put Peyton number two. Nuts. I'm not going to put Peyton number two, Justin, because you can understand as a football fan, Brady was chasing Montana. So for that simple fact, your argument is null and void. When you know yourself as a Patriot fan going through this, live through it. You knew he was chasing Montana. He was not chasing Peyton. He had already passed Peyton. Manning could never get to okay, Montana. But still, even, even with that, Brady's highest respect went to who? Peyton Manning. Because he, he won against him. It, it, that was his greatest competition. Yes. He never he played, played that. Aaron Rodgers in saying. the playoffs. That's why. Huh? He never played Aaron in the playoffs. He did play Aaron. He beat Aaron in the playoffs one time in 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 Green Bay. In Green Bay. But again, but Justin, I'm not gonna. I'm not disrespecting Peyton by putting him number three. Okay? No, no, no. I, I, that's fine. But I, what I, I think don't... you're doing is you're forgetting where we were seven years ago when Brady beat Atlanta. Because I guarantee, if I could take a time machine and talk to that Justin, he would not have said. Brady just surpassed Peyton to be the number one greatest quarterback of all time. I, you would have said he passed Joe. So how in the hell in the last seven years did Peyton Manning surpass Joe Montana without even taking a single snap in the NFL? How is that possible? I, I think Peyton Manning surpassed Joe Montana just based on his regular season and his two Super Bowls. So That's Peyton amazing. surpassed – so hold on. Peyton surpassed Joe before Brady did? Peyton surpassed Joe on Super Bowl 50. Once which he got one, that second, second ring. One? Yeah, that second ring. That's so he, so what you're saying is Peyton but, surpassed See, the thing is Brady, no, 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 Brady, was my greatest, my conversation. Brady was my greatest before that. I never even debated that. So I'm not arguing Brady over Peyton. No, 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 because I've asked you this. No, 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 no. From the jump. You said. After you said Seattle. Tom, no, no, you didn't say that. Nope. No, you How said do you, we didn't even know each this. other then. No, I asked you this when we were on the show, not on the show, we're off air. You said it was Atlanta Super Bowl. What? That he became the GOAT. Yo, my dude, I could probably I could pull the owner of the deli up the block from my house, man. I have been saying Tom Brady was the greatest of all time since I was a child. Before so wait, I even hold on. understood things. All right, you know what? Fine, fine. I'll give you that point. Whatever. That's a mute point. Because then this here, how is this possible? How in the hell do you have Peyton surpassing Joe 
with that Super Bowl performance? How is that possible? That playoff performance. It wasn't so uh, That about, season. It wasn't so how do you have Payne to back it was, up after it was that just, season? How is that human? It, was, nine it, touchdowns, it wasn't the performance. 17 it was interceptions. putting the freaking ring on the finger. That's enough. So You're Trent did. So, uh, what, 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 that put me on. That, I'm like, yo, Payton, Payton has it, bro. Payton has it. There's no, no quarterback that, I like I said, one of the greatest managers of the game of all time. Like I said, called his own plays. No matter who his head coach was, he did not have a Hall of Fame coach. He did not. So I'm remember that no Tony Hall of Dungy's Fame coach. Tony a Hall of Fame coach. Who? Tony Dungy's a Hall of okay. Fame coach. I and he won a he won that, his I Super Bowl with him. He won his Super Bowl. I said with him. outside of Dungy. He won his of, Super Bowl with Tony Dungy. Outside of Tony Dungy. I he didn't did win Peyton. a Super Bowl with Jim Caldwell. Oh. All right. Good night. Good night. It's just that your your argument but, doesn't make it just because he put a ring on the finger. So you're just going to ignore didn't nine we, touchdowns. Didn't we, didn't we say Why are you interrupting so me? Because rings? you know what I'm about to say is factually correct. What? Nine, how are you going to ignore nine touchdowns to 17 interceptions that entire season where he was getting benched for Brock Osweiler? All right, and that playoff yeah, performance. We're also, we're also talking. That's so unfair to even use against him because it's. No, it's not. How is it not? That, no, we knew the guy no, was, was no. injured and all. We know he was injured. That's what I'm saying to you, Justin. I'm coming at you because you're saying that Super Bowl made him and he better still did you. enough to win a Super Bowl even after that regular season playing injured. Could they have won a Super Bowl with Brock Osweiler? I don't think they. I don't think they beat New England with Brock Osweiler. I think you're smoking crack. No, well, if you don't think Brock o- Brock Osweiler is not a good quarterback, if you don't think Brock Osweiler can complete 54 percent of his passes, throw for 176 yards. And Again, two touchdowns and no as picks, I've said before, I think it came down to turn over. To Payton didn't turn the ball over that game. He played obviously. It wasn't spectacular. Not turning the ball over against New England is the key. It was a run first offense, Justin. In in his first uh in his first AFC title game against New England, he threw what four picks. You lose a game that way. He didn't turn a ball over. Brock Osweiler would have turned the ball over. That's you what I said before. You don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> None of us do. I know that he can. I hope he's you, confident. You don't Justin, know that. I'm pretty confident Brock Osweiler can put a 54% completion percentage, 176 yards, and just as good as a 36 QBR. I'm pretty sure he could do that. And look, 